and coming to you live from the office, getting all packed up as you can see. We actually signed papers today on the brand new house, brand new studio coming soon, finally out of this limbo that you guys have been seeing for so long. So really excited for what's to come. Cannot wait to get back to like a normal life, normal upload schedule, the remodel's done. Ah! Crazy! Anyways, we have brand new Night Witch gameplay for you today. You guys probably saw a lot of the videos that came out yesterday announcing uh, that the Night Witch and the Roaster are coming in addition to Builder Hall 6. That will be out very, very soon. As you can see, we have the dev build up right now. Got the maxed out Builder Hall 6, we've got that level 10 battle machine, and we've got some Night Witches cooked up in the camp, so I'm going to show you guys today the top strategies for using the Night Witch in the upcoming Builder Base. Alright guys, so we are back. I did a number of tests today. I wanted to show you guys the results of those tests. Uh, but first and foremost, gotta thank King of the North here for uh, matching up against me. He's got a maxed out Builder Hall 6 on the dev build as well. Check this out. Started out with the, uh, the Night which is in the corner. And as you guys can see, they spawn bats. Just like they do in Clash Royale. Same exact troop, more or less. Uh, man, first impressions on these guys. They are freaking strong. Like, way stronger than anything else that we've seen on the Builder base to date. So I used a few Giants to get out in front. I used the level 10 Battle Machine in behind. Holy cow, that thing's got a lot more HP than it does uh, just five levels before it maxed out level 5 for Builder Hall 5. Uh, and it looks like the Night which is the, the bats, the roaster, man. The roaster is also something we got to point out here. This guy right here, it is very, very strong uh, against the, the Night Witch as well as many other uh, defenses. But you see as they explode, there are a whole bunch of uh, bats spawn. But we had three Night Witches go around the other side as well, still following that battle machine who is up. The Giants are still alive. And it looks like the multi-mortar is locked on to that battle machine. So not quite enough to get another uh, shot off there. The, or the battle machine didn't have another, another uh, hero ability. But this is pretty crazy, guys. We've got one Night Witch up top. We've got a couple over there on the side. And we've got some bats hovering in the middle. The only thing really left that can take them out is the Tesla. And it's down. Bats swarming, these bats just doing absolute work. The cannon took out the Night Witches on the other side, but we got the 100%. This was our first ever attack with Night Witches. So, Night Witches uh, looking pretty freaking fierce, man, against that maxed out Builder Hall 6. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the battle log. We'll keep going. Um, I used the same strategy, and I want to show you guys a fail here, because I want to show... I came from a different side of the base on purpose. Uh, the strategy being, when you're attacking with Night Witches, you really want to get this guy right here first and foremost. So come in from whatever side of the base allows you to target the roaster as soon as possible and take that thing out. That is your key defense. As you can see, it's more on the back side of the base on this attack, and it's going to do a tremendous amount of damage, as well as this multi-mortar right here. So I funneled all of my, my witches into the base. My night witches, I should say, because there actually is a witch troop. Uh, we get the, uh, the crusher taken out, crusher number one. And all is going well until these witches right here. Look at all of them stack up on the battle machine and look at the damage they're taking from that multi-mortar. Unfortunately, they're just getting absolutely roasted. These high-level walls preventing me from getting into that core um, as soon as I would like. And all of these witches, holy cow, three of them have already gone down, it looks like. And there is another two. And we are down to the final night, which with barely any uh, HP there in the middle. So we've got one going around the flank over on this side. It's still at full health, but not for long. That cannon's going to take it out. So really the side of the base that you approach from really does matter. Uh, bats kind of finish up. We don't quite get much else taken out. Got really close there, um, but still only 75% on that one. Keep going through the battle log here. This is kind of where we got into some other strategies. This was the first ever strategy with Minion Baby, not Baby Drag, Minion Night Witch. Guys, this strategy right here, this is the future. I'm telling you right now, super, super strong. Watch the minions here, they start the funnel. We're gonna drop them from far, far back. We're gonna crack off the corners here, get that funnel created, and then the battle machine from way downtown. And then just watch the spread on the minions as well as the bats. See, the reason this works is you can, you can approach these air targeting splash units like the uh, the air bombs, like this uh, this roaster, and it does not target all of your air troops at the same time. 
because they're chilling at different ranges. So you've got the minions kind of standing a little bit further back. You've got the bats up front. So it's just not quite, you know, the same as having all bats in there. And as you can see, the air troops simply overwhelm the roaster. It goes down. So we've taken out most of the air threat. Uh, or the ground threat rather uh, we do have the air bombs and one firecracker left on the back side as well as the archer tower But there's nothing left for the battle machine So he is running free at this point the last crusher is down that was really the last thing dangering uh, in, Endangering I should say the the battle machine here. He pushes through the base. This thing's wrecked. I mean it looks close, but it's it's done it's done. Witch gets flung. Did you guys notice on that spring trap, the witch actually spawned her bats anyway? So even though she got flung off the map, the bats came out. And I feel that that, that to me is a little bit overpowered. It negates the value of that spring trap. Uh, you notice the giants, when they get flung off the map, they don't leave their fists behind to punch. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. So I think when the witches get flung off the map on the builder base, they should definitely have the bats go right along with them because I think that's a little bit OP. So there we go. We got the three star on that as well. Minions and Night Witch. Very, very strong composition. I will get back to that in just a moment. Let's show you some stuff that doesn't work super hot. We started off with the giants. We came at the Crusher here uh, because we knew that we didn't want to go like right in the middle of Crusher. Yeah, whatever. So we'll check this out. Maybe I came from the wrong direction here. Maybe the cannons would have been better suited to take that out and try to get those troops into the middle. Uh, but that's not what happened here. So we sent in a few giants here. We sent in cannon cards from the side to trim the sides. And we wanted those witches to go into the center of this base and to try to take out those, uh, those guard post troops as well as the core as soon as possible. So it looks like we're going to lose our funnel here a little bit. As soon as those CC troops, or not CC, but uh, guard post troops, uh, distracted my battle machine, he goes around, which that wasn't really the plan. Uh, he comes back now, and it's, it's a little bit too late. But, you know, he still gets the crusher taken out, and he's on his way into the base. Again, same problem that we had in the earlier raid, guys. The, uh, <laughs> the witch is getting crushed here by the multi-mortar, so that's definitely something to pay attention to. Watch for the break-in points at where the multi-mortar is firing. You want to make sure that your night witches are standing back from your tanks, your, your battle machines, and your giants. You do not want to get them splashed on like you're seeing here. Cannon going around the side still. That was, you know, okay. Uh, but just too much damage coming in from that back side of the base, and the battle machine gets roasted. After that, it's inevitable. Um, all the bats kind of doing work. We get that multi-mortar taken out, but other than that, it is a done deal. So, not the best attack there by any means. We will keep going. I will show you guys another attack. I just thought I'd try it. We got Barbarians and the Night Witches here. I switched it up, got rid of the Giants entirely, and we rocked the, uh, the Enraged Barbarians here on the corners and try to just rush this base. Uh, Barb's kind of down the side, um, funneling into the middle a little bit, and then also the Night which is right down the center of the base. I, yeah, this just didn't work. This flat out sucked, and I didn't know what to expect. I thought I might be able to overpower the front side here. Wrong. Wrong. One thing I gotta do still is test out some bombers a little bit more, but honestly with those uh, with those bats, I think just the right strategy, you guys will see in just a minute, I think I've got it figured out as far as like what's gonna be super effective at Builder Hall 6. Uh, to me it seems a little bit, a uh, little bit strong out of the gates, but it, you know, Supercell's known to do that uh, with the new troops. They always try to, it seems like they try to make an impression like, oh this is awesome, everybody wants it. Um, and it seems like they've gone the same route here with the Night Witch. Very, very strong. It continues on here. Uh, but again, multi-mortar wrecking them. So, let's look at two more armies here. And again, these two armies turned out for me to be the most reliable and the best looking armies in, uh, the Builder Base. So, again, minions in the corner, kind of long range. Uh, started off on one corner first this time. Other corner next, next time. And this is just dominant, guys. Minions and Night Witches. Like, just ridiculously strong. I don't know what to say. I don't know if I like it. It is what it is, though. So, Firecracker's down. Watch them go after the roaster, though. And watch how few they actually take out. Like, we get a couple bats there, but look at the minions. Like, they're getting none of the minions. So, really, really effective taking out that unit that is supposed to uh, really negate the swarm style of attack. And then as you can see, the air bombs, they're really only able to take out a few of these air targeting troops at a time. Night Witch is uh, on the backside of the base already doing work. We still have pretty much a full health, unattacked builder machine or battle machine. I'm going to do that forever, guys, I promise. On the backside, so it is going to use that ability, take out those air bombs, and that is that. Obviously, the Archer Tower is not going to be able to overpower 
uh, a battle machine with his ability up. So he fires off the ability, gonna go through the wall one more time. Minions there, bats there, Night Witch there. This base is wrecked. So this right here, guys, is probably gonna be one of your most reliable strategies. Two camps of beta minions, three camps of Night Witches, and that gives you a total of six Night Witches and 20 beta minions to go along with your battle machine. Very, very strong composition. I believe I three-starred every single time I tried with this army. First time, second time, third time, fourth time, didn't matter. None of them were particularly close as far as like, oh, I almost failed. A couple did get a little bit thin on troops, but again, you were relying on a full health battle machine to take out just a couple of buildings. Now, for the last test, we really wanted to see how strong these Night Witches were. So we ran Night Witches all by themselves. Look at the, look at the attack strategy here, guys. This is where I'm like, okay, this is a bit much. We're going up against a maxed out Builder Hall 6 base. A freaking line of Night Witches going behind the uh, the battle machine. And we are going right at this base. I mean, just look at the swarm of bats, guys. Oh my goodness. Ability cracked off here. Night Witch is uh, really going to take out the Crusher before... Look at it. The, the whole outer compartment is completely gone before the battle machine can even get through the walls. So, really, really strong. It's all about taking out that roaster now. And as soon as those bats kind of latch onto it, look at the damage being done there, guys. So much damage. All right, so there it is. Roaster locks onto the battle machine. There are the bats. They are doing work. So many Night Witches still left up on the top. It looks like they've got a couple more. And one on the bottom there taking out... Like, what in the world? Taking out the, uh, the firecrackers there. So now it's all about getting this double cannon taken out and all this stuff on the backside. So you can see those Night Witches doing, uh, making quick work of that Archer Tower. Battle Machine kind of rolling, and I thought I was gonna fail this raid, honestly. Um, I had a whole bunch of Night Witches get picked off on the left side by that cannon. They did not, because the Battle Machine kind of went off to the top. It did not tank what I thought it was going to, and I thought for sure I was gonna get wrecked, but this wasn't even particularly close. The Night Witches just completely overrun the base. That is that power bang crushing King of the North with the Night Witches. So there it is, guys. A couple of armies that I would recommend. First off, Minions and Night Witches. That is your first recommendation. Second recommendation, all Night Witches. Seems to work just fine, and it wasn't even a particularly good attack. Thirdly, I would recommend one camp worth of Giants, and then your uh, couple of Night Witches on the corners to get the funnel created, and then kind of just load those Night Witches behind the Giants and your Battle Machine right up the guts. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the new Night Witches in the comments. Uh, I personally think they're a little bit strong, but I'd love to hear from you. That's all I've got for today, though. I cannot wait to hear from you. Talk to you in the next one. Later, guys.